All right, I think we're good to go now. So we just done a bit of Star Fox. No, let's play the official version of Star Fox Two. So let's see what the differences are between that light beta version and the final version. Oh, so I'm guessing this intro. Like the, the intro is probably taking inspiration from Star Wars or something, or maybe the first one did that. This one looks more Star Wars-ish. And then suddenly Snake. Yeah, I remember this intro when I played that leaked ROM like a long time ago. Like the one from God knows how long, like a decade back. What's with the wood border? Uh, you can change the, the border for it. Also, I like that they actually redesigned the logo so that the number 2 is different, because I don't think that was how num the number 2 normally looks like, like in the beta. So you've got normal, hard, and then experts. We'll just do normal for now. I have returned, I shall make the Cornerians suffer! Inhabitants of Corneria, you shall fear my vengeance! I will demonstrate my awesome power on all of Lylet! Yeah, I think the beta was just Japanese text, so you couldn't really read it if you played like the beta version of this game. Star Fox team, do you read me? I have terrible news! Our sworn enemy, the fiend Andros, is alive! I thought that said friend there for a second. The friend Andros. Even as we speak, it's launching an assault on Carnaria. The battle carriers and attack forces of Andros are now advancing on Carnaria. The enemy bases have established on overrun planets. Planetary missiles would be fired from these enemy bases. Once again, we must ask you for your assistance, Star Fox. Carnaria will survive if it sustains minor damage, but if it reaches 100%, then all is lost. Engage the forces of Andros while well, at the same time keeping damage to Canaria at the lowest level possible. Good luck! I mean, good luck. So yeah, in this game you've got the Star Fox team, but you've also got two other characters. Miu the cat, I guess, and Faye the poodle. What if this game actually did come out back then? Do you think these two would have continued being like canon characters in all future installments? In fact, I'm going to call it now. That's the, that's the good future. Like the what, what was that thing from uh, Zelda? Like the failed hero timeline and the successful hero timeline. Yeah, the failed hero timeline is we get Star Fox Adventures and then Crystal becomes part of the Star Fox team. The good hero timeline is where. We get these two instead. I'm gonna be boring and pick Fox. Uh, can I get a different character? Yeah, sure. Let's do Miu. So I'm guessing Miu will assist for some of these missions. Also, I think this game has a two-player local multiplayer mode as well, like where you can do like dog fights and stuff. So this game plays a bit differently, it's a bit more like a strategy game, but with um, Star Fox gameplay in between. You basically got to micromanage and destroy anything that's coming toward Corneria, which is at the bottom there. So yeah, engage the enemy, land on the planets, and then intercept the ships. Switch positions with your wingman by pressing select. Turn your mother ship to warp to any free planet. I guess I'll start by getting rid of these missiles that are headed our way. So I think there's a DS game that plays kinda like this, but I've never really played that one. Star Fox Command. Right, so let's destroy this missile real quick. There we go. Clear time 3 seconds. So I think the longer you stay in there, the longer, like... Basically, everything works in real time, so the longer you stay in the level, 
the more things happen outside the level, so it's best to do things as quickly as possible. So we're going to go here now. Oh wait, the target's this way. Oh, so this game is... This was basically the game that was supposed to debut in Team Star Wolf. But of course that never happened and instead we got to see them in Star Fox 64. There we go. Could have done that a bit quicker. I think Star Fox 2 was supposed to use the Super FX2 chip, but by the frame rates it looks like they're emulating the Super Stock FX. The Stock Super FX. Yeah, that's probably the case. Because the final game was completed, it was just never released because they didn't want to release it at that time when the PlayStation was out. Right, so I'm going to try... You must infiltrate the enemy, enemy base and annihilate it. Right, we'll go for the meteor and try to free it up. I'm picking up the Star Wolf Wing! Behold my power! I think he said. Wait, that's not his voice. His voice is like a squealy voice, isn't it? Your daddy screamed real good when he died! That's an actual line from Star Fox 64, by the way. Again, very morbid. I don't... oh, that's the bomb button. There we go. Dead. So I'm assuming that they stay dead. I don't think they come back if you actually defeat them. Switch unknown. This is one of those missions where you can use the chicken walker, isn't it? I kinda remember. Yeah. Oh wow. The controls are kind of unresponsive. Like, when I move left and right, there's a noticeable latency delay between when I press the button and when it actually does shit. Like, in the first Star Fox, it was slow, but it was actually quite responsive. And this is... <laughs> it's suddenly going super, like... Like, the controls are super, like, laggy. Make good use of the transforming capabilities. I take it select, so you change between them. Yeah, it selects. Oh, hi, big, big beer. Welcome to the stream. So this is the official translation then. Supposed to hit that eczema. Oh wait a second, I'm supposed to stand on the switch, right. Hold fire to charge. Oh you can do that in this game? Right, okay. I remember during one of these cutscenes the emulator would crash like in the early builds of this late ROM from like de a decade back. If not entering the building, it's leaving the building that crashes the emulator. Like, I remember... What emulator did they use back then? I think it was SNES 9X or something and it used to be like... Either when you go inside the building or after you beat the boss and try to leave it, it would do SNES 9X has, has an unknown error. And it would just fucking shut the whole emulator down. But eventually they were able to fix that, I think. Emulator updates were able to add compatibility to it, but I remember it being an issue when I tried it way back then. So 
So I'm wondering if current emulators can run this, no problem then, since it's like the final version. Because even though it's more polished, like it should be more polished than the beta version that's been floating around the internet, there might be one or two little niggles that the emulators might not be able to run properly yet, I don't know. Apparently people have been able to get this running on repo carts already, and it runs just fine on actual hardware. Like if you have a, a rep reproductive cart with a Super FX chip in it, it'll work. Actually, I probably not want to fly for this part. Gotta avoid them hula hoops. The jelly donuts without the jelly in the middle. There we go. Yeah, it might be in this cutscene actually because of all the explosions. That base wasn't too tough. We spent a lot of time in there though, so shit's probably been happening where we've been in there. Gonna go for those missiles. I'm wondering if the, like, I'm wondering if the translation here is from the original version, or if they've actually updated the translation. The original one might have had, like, spelling errors and shit, because it was, like, you know, like, some games back then would have, like, English and stuff. Maybe, probably not in Nintendo's case, but... Oh yeah, holding the button does give you a charge. Also, for some reason, I can't switch perspectives. Yeah, I'm almost dead. There we go. Like, look at me, I'm almost fucking dead here. Yeah, I don't know how you heal. Do you go back to the big ship? Okay then, thanks. Is that a member of Star Fox, Star Wolf? Yeah. Leon of the Star Wolf Wing is now here. Captain Wolf has ordered me to curse you. He had like a fancy British voice, didn't he? Something like that.
not very good at aiming with the sh charge shot. Like, can you walk on, or is it just like you have to aim? Come on, die. Dumb. Oh shit, they've been hit with a missile. Charge shots can home. Yeah, again, I took too long there, so shit's been happening while I was doing that. Appears a puny rest is running about. How cute! What's going on? Go play with your pet! Just play nice! Time to fight Snick. Mirage Dragon. Is there no way to get out of this first person perspective for space battles? Numb. I spent less time on that than I did on the fucking Star Wolf fight with Leon. Cornelia is at 10% damage. Right, so after this one, I'm going to go straight for that carrier, stop it. See, I really like this game. Like this, this is a nice way to mix up the game, but not sort of change, not change the core gameplay too much. I don't know if Star Fox Command does a, as good a job as this, but I've heard of, I've heard a lot of mixed feelings on that one. There we go. Yeah, I can't seem to um, walk on with the charge shot. Oh fuck. Gotta take that down quick before it fucking files. I like that you can see that the cannon is actually charging its shot right now. Well, that's a nice little detail. Yeah, this is like the first game. Like the little tunnels that you have to go through.
I can actually use this though. If I really wanted to stop. There we go. Easy. Yeah, a lot of the bosses aren't that difficult, really. It's just getting to the boss that's the challenge. Wolf himself is probably going to give me a run for my money when I get some. That's like our defense thing, isn't it? So once we get rid of these, we can start liberating other planets. Because the ultimate goal is to make sure we free the planets so that we can start the assault on Venom. But while you're trying to do that, you have to juggle a whole bunch of other things, like stop all the missiles, stop the carriers, and Star Wolf is also trying to stop you. So it's got, it's got a pretty good balance going of like, you've got to micromanage all these things happening, but you've still got a lot of... There's plenty of opportunity for you to not fuck up. Take it on the hardest difficulty, it's probably going to be like, if anything touches Corneria, like if anything so much scratches it, it will probably explode or something, like immediately. None of this 100% damage thing, it's probably just going to be an instant fail. So I'm guessing during the space segments I can't go into third person, because I can go into third person inside. Once again, easy. God, this is a cool game. I'm, I'm disappointed that it never came out back in the day. Like, it, it kind of makes you wonder why that, like... Like, the reason they didn't bring it out was because the PlayStation was already out and the N64 was on the way. So Nintendo didn't... Star Fox, you mangy cur, how dare you challenge me again! So they didn't want... They didn't want to basically have something that was infinitely inferior to the PlayStation at the time. Especially when they were working on their N64 tech, so... Instead of letting this game release, they were like, you know what, let's just scrap the whole thing and wait until the N64 comes out and make it on that. That was short. 2.2. And then we get fucking hit in the face with a... With an asteroid. Eldrad. Eladrad. That's a good start when an enemy just fucking crashes right into your face at the beginning. Yeah, certain planets like this is where the input latency really tanks. It's taken about half a second to actually do something. When you're in space or when you're indoors it's not so bad, it's just when you're outside on the planet surface. There we go.
getting used to how this controls because the D-pad strafes and the L and R buttons turn you around. that switch to open the door. So yeah, ideas from this, like the chicken walker, had been recycled in Star Fox Zero. And then other ideas, like the free range mode, were in Star Fox 64. So even though this game did get cancelled back in the day, they actually took the ideas and put them in different games. So it's not like all the stuff in there was... all the stuff in here was lost. It was just repurposed. Is that double the laser? Ow. So I'll probably play some other SNES classic games over the next few weeks in between other stuff. I don't know if I'll do any JRPGs though, like the JRPGs on here, because they'll probably take forever. I'll have to find some real time to do that if I ever play them. And Super Mario RPG I'm not going to be playing because I recently watched uh, Vinny do an entire playthrough of that. Finally, Andros' for forces in the Lilith system are defeated! Press on, you must neutralise Andros once and for all! And it looks like we're about ready to go. Hear me, Star Fox, I Star Wolf will defeat you now! Where is, uh... Wasn't there a fourth member of Star, Star Wolf? Or is he not in this game? Yeah, so this is the wolf fight. Oh, that nearly happened. So even though you've got all range mode, I don't think you can do the U-turn in this. You just have to do a manual turn. No U-turns, no backflips or whatever. Whatever they're called. Gum. I'm impressed, Star Fox. You are talented. Today I lose, but tomorrow I shall crush you. Yep, he's dead. Well, quote unquote dead. Nah, you pathetic fools are completely worthless. Right, time for Andros. So I'm guessing on medium difficulty there's more stuff to do because we didn't do a whole lot there. Like we didn't go to most of the planets. But I'll do that next time, I think. So I might do a couple more SNES Classic games since... Since these games are fairly short I could probably do something else. I don't think I'll be doing Cuphead though, I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow, like I said. Kinda want, to, want, kinda want to just spend tonight messing around with the SNES Classic for the most part. 
and then tomorrow we can go into that fresh. I did get the game by the way, like it's in my Steam library. Like, I haven't even downloaded it yet, so even if I wanted to, it's not there. Like, it's not on the hard drive yet. Special weapon. So I wonder what Andros looks like in this version of the game. Like it probably just another face, isn't it? I mean, what else could it be? Oh, so I don't know what the purpose of these coins are. I'm guessing for unlockables, maybe? Possibly. This isn't the intros, is it? It's just another regular boss. So it's probably after this. Yeah, the bosses are pretty repetitive. It's mostly the same thing, like just a big turret that you have to take down in the room. And it's fairly easy as long as you just keep strafing. Oh, there he is. Once again, he's a cube. Oh no, he's not dead. Right, this is the real final fight. Here it comes. Whoa, that texture warping though. That's like fucking Doom levels of texture warping. Impressive, but your existence ends here. I will put you to rest. Don't worry, it'll be quick. Yeah, he <laughs> it's another face. It looks more like a, a mask. Oh, it's an all range mode, right, okay. This is kind of like the final fight in Star Fox 64. Only I have the brains to rule eyelets. So, Andras, you show your true form. But I could just fucking quote that game all day. I could quote it for days. Five frames per second, again. Oh yes, um, IGN did a review for Star Fox 2 and they complained, like, they criticised the game all because it's not, like, because it's, like, 15 frames per second and, like, this is a fucking game that came out in 1994, you're completely missing the point. Right. I don't know if there's a second form to this, or if that's it. Yeah, look at that texture warping. But like you don't normally notice it, it's just that corridor in particular where it's the most noticeable. But yeah, I think that's it, yeah. Good job, that was a nail biter. It's alright, you gotta believe.
Was that English voice in the leaked ROM, or did they add that in? Because if they added that in, that's pretty cool. I don't remember if the, the beta ROM actually had that. So yeah, again, pretty short game, but it's pretty fun. So I think I think next time I'll do the next difficulty and I think there'll be more planets and shit to try take over. So yeah, that was fun. I like that. So yeah, I've got time to do a, maybe another game or two. We'll have a look through and see what stuff we can check out. While the credits are rolling, I'm just going to change the title since I'm done with Star Fox 2. Let's see what I call this. I'll, I'll just put it as games and demos. Why not? Someone sent me a message on Telegram saying that they had to keep rewinding to beat Star Fox, uh, Star Wolf. So I managed to beat him first try, I don't know how that happened, but apparently they had trouble with him. There he is, there's Andros. So yeah, on harder difficulties, like I said, I think you'll get more planets to take over and the campaign's generally longer. Like, that was fairly short. That was like, what, about 40-50 minutes on normal difficulty? If even, even that. There you go, there's the final, the final score screen. Get them cameras ready to take the pixels and send to Nintendo Power, again. C rank. There we go. Let's see if the multiplayer, if there is a multiplayer, I think there is. Like, how do you access that? What's record? Is that your high score? Yeah. Right, okay. Oh, try, I'm trying to get back out, sorry. So yeah, am I thinking that this one has multiplayer or am I thinking something else? Or is it that we need to plug in a second controller? Hang on. Let me just get rid of the other controller. It's still in its wrapping, but I could just plug it in and see if it gives me another option. Let me just move this so I can plug it in. I've got this NES Classic thing right here. No? Maybe I just picked mission then? So, 
Am I right in thinking that there's a, a multiplayer, or am I, am I mistaken by that? Gonna reset. Let the controller's plugged in now, maybe it'll give me the option. Yeah, I, I don't see it. Maybe that's what the coins are for, maybe the coins unlock it, so, yeah. Let me just get this controller back out, because I'm not going to leave that line there. So yeah, the SNES Classic does come with two controllers. Some alpha builds used multiplayer. Yeah, I remember playing one of the builds that had multiplayer in it. Maybe they took it out. It's kind of a shame. In fact, hang on. Yeah, it says it right there. It's a single player game, so they must have removed that. It's a shame that it's not there. Like, I would have liked to see that be included 